Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power fifty-three in chapter nineteen. Chapter nineteen is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So there we look at the question together. First one tell us we have the ideal diatomic gas. So this is a keyword. The mole number is three point six five mole. We write it here, and then it expands. Adiabatically, this is another keyword. Then the initial volumes is given 0 0.1210 right, meter, um, meter cube, and V2 is 0 0.75 cube. And also tell you initial pressure P1 is 180 m. You can convert it as a unit Pascal. Now, first question ask you initial and final temperature. So initial and final temperature in this case adiabatically this keyword. We can see we have this function PV gamma equal to a constant, right? And also we have another function for ideal gas, PV equal to NRT, NTR, right? So now it looks like we can solve it there. So for T1, we look at there. For T1, we say PV equal to nRT. For T1, is P1 V1 divided by n times r, right? Yes. And then we look at the least quantities. P1 is given, V1 is given, n is given, r is a constant. So you input this quantity inside, you get answer there. So easy. The next one, we use the small same strategies to find T2. T2 is P2. V2 divided by n times r, right? Yes. Now you can see V2 is given, n is given, r is a constant. It looks like you need to find the P2 first. How can you find P2 first? We have this function. It tells us PV gamma equals to constant. That means initially P1, V1, gamma equal to P2, V2, gamma. Therefore, we can get the function for P2 as P1 times the ratio V1 over V2 power gamma, right? Yes. And then we can input this inside. So put the P2 inside this T2 function. It looks like this one. And in this function, we can see P1, V1, P, V2, N is given. So we need to find the parameter gamma. How can we get it? We know by definition, gamma equal to capital CP over CV, right? And CP equal to CV plus R. So next question, how can you find CV? It tell you uh, it is a dial automatic gas. You can check your textbook for dial automatic gas. The CV is 5R over 2. Therefore, you find this ratio. Gamma has a 7 over 5. Therefore, you can say you get all the quantities in this function, and then you input them inside, get find answer there. The next one, you need to find the change in internal energy. So internal energy, how can you do that? Very straightforward. You just write down the function for the internal energy changes, n times Cv, delta T, right? As previous, we talked about this is a del autotic gas. So that makes CV equal to 5R over 2 and dirty as T2 minus T1. Then you input all the known quantity, get answer there. The next one, you need to find the work done on the gas. So work done, on, oh, oh sorry, C. Now you need to find the heat lost by the gas. So we can see we have the keyword adiabatically. That means no energy flows in or flows out. Q equal to zero. Agree? Yes. And the next one, you need to find the work done on the gas. The work done on the gas, you can see we have the internal energy changes there. Q equal to zero. So very straightforward, you can write the function. Internal energy changes equal to Q minus work. Therefore, Q is zero, so kill it. Now, work equal to negative internal energy changes, so the final answer is there. Thank you.